so today I'll be going over AMC 8 2010 problems 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15, starting off with problem 11. The top of one tree is 16 feet higher than the top of another tree. The heights of the two trees are in the ratio of 3 to 4. In feet, how tall is the taller tree? Okay, so um, starting off, uh, the first thing you notice is you need to understand ratios. Ratios um, in this format is 3 of the total number compared to 4 of the total number. And how you find the total number is you add the, um, the two numbers in the ratios. So 3 plus 4 is 7. 7 is the total. So we have 3 sevenths. And then um, I'm going to say the total is x. So 3 sevenths x to 4 sevenths x. And then we have that um, one of the trees is 16 feet higher. So we can rewrite this equation as 3 sevenths x compared to 3 sevenths x plus 16. Okay, now um, we're trying to find the height of the taller tree. So what we can do is, um, since this entire equation here is, is equal to x, we can just add everything. So x equals 3 sevenths x plus 3 sevenths x plus 16. Um, simplifying, we have x equals 6 sevenths x plus 16. Um, 1 seventh x equals 16. Okay, now since we're trying to find the height of the taller tree, which is just 4 sevenths x, we can do 4 times 16, which equals 64. And our answer is B. Okay, problem 12. Of the 500 balls in a large bag, 80% are red and the rest are blue. How many of the red balls must be removed from the bag so that 75% of the re remaining balls are red? So what we want to first do is figure out how many red balls there are, which is 80% of 500, that is 400. And then blue would be the remaining, so 100. And then we have that um, we only want to remove red balls, so no blue balls will be removed. And then um, once we remove the red balls, they will be 75% of the new total, which I'm going to say is x. So that means 25% of this new total, x, is going to be equal to blue. And then since we're not changing blue, that means blue is equal to 100. So now we have this equation where we can solve for x. 25% of x is equal to 100, meaning x is equal to 400, which is our new total. And... Um, our old total was 500, so that means we have to remove D100 red balls in order for them to be 75% of the new total. Okay, problem 13. The lengths of the sides of a triangle in inches are three consecutive integers. The length of the shortest side is 30% of the parameter. What is the length of the longest side? Okay, so first of all, I'm going to set the parameter to equal x. So now we can um, write the length of the shortest sides in terms of x, which is just 3 tenths x. And then um, to write everything else in terms of x, we can put... 3 tenths plus 3 tenths x plus 1. Since they're all consecutive integers relative to um, the length of the shortest side. So the last one would be 3 tenths x plus 2. And then um, notice I put all these um, addition signs because if you add all these together, they would equal the perimeter. And now we have an equation where we can solve for x. Um, combining all the 3 tenths together, we get 9 tenths x plus 
3 equals x. 3 equals 1 tenth x. x is equal to 30. And then since we're finding um, the length of the longest side, which is just 3x plus 2, we can substitute 30 in for x. 3 tenths times... Uh, 3 tenths times 30 plus 2, canceling out, 3 times 3 is 9, 9 plus 2, which gives us 11, so the answer is E. Okay, problem 14, what is the sum of the prime factors of 2010? Okay, so, you know, prime factors, prime factors, factoring tree. So, 2010, we're going to put on the factoring tree. So, 2010, um, since there's a 0, I'm going to say 10 and 201. 10, you can keep on going with 2 and 5. Um, 2 plus 0 plus 1 is 3, so this is divisible by 3. 3 and 67, yes. And then 67 is prime. So we're finding the sum of the prime factors, and these are the prime factors. So what we can do is put addition signs between all these. 2 plus 5 plus 3 is 10, and then plus 67, which is 77, and our answer is C. Alright, last problem for this video. Problem 15. A jar contains five different colors of gumdrops, 30% are blue, 20% are brown, 15% red, 10% yellow, and other, and the other 30 gumdrops are green. If half of the blue gumdrops are replaced with brown gumdrops, then how many gumdrops will be brown? Okay, so um, since we have everything else in percentages except for green, we can... Um, add 30% plus 20%, 15 and 10, to get that everything else sums up to 75%. Meaning that 30 gumdrops are equal to 25% of the total. So that means x is equal to 120 gumdrops. There are a total of 120 gumdrops. So, blue equals 30 times 120 is 36 gumdrops. And then since we only want to know um, about the blue gumdrops with the brown, brown gumdrops, so um, all we have to do is figure those two out. 20% are brown, so 24 gumdrops are brown. So if we give half of 36 to 24, which half of 36 is 18, so we're going to add 18 to 24. That means 24 plus 18 equals 42, which is C.